By the gods, this is a good start. Where did these people set up their tent? <sighs> if there's nothing around the next bend, I'm turning around. My faithful knife. Nuri's old necklace. I'm carrying it with me until she can wear it again. Nothing happened. Obviously, it's neither breakable nor broken. Finally. Hey you, little girl. Giacomo Nauta sent me. I'm here about the riddle. Um, do you speak Goretti? I'm a friend. Giacomo told you I would come. He spoke of the hero of Andergast, a strong, courageous and clever man. Not someone I can slice open from head to foot in the blink of an eye. I am the hero of Andergast. Can you do magic? Heal things with fairy magic? The way the hero healed the dreams of an Andergastrian was magic? It wasn't quite like that, but yes. I can repair things magically. Then prove it. This before me is the flying fortress Kashari. I recreated it from my dreams. But no matter what I do, it keeps tipping over. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. Piece of cake. She must be the merchant's daughter. Giacomo already warned me. I thought you could repair things. I can. Just as well as I can break them. You better not. Don't worry. The magic only works on fragile objects, not on people. That doesn't sound very powerful. It depends on what you make of it. All right, all right. I have my own knife. There's a dagger lying next to the girl. She thinks it's very important that I don't forget that. No magic necessary here. Hmm. The glass is completely pure and clear. The bottle must be worth a fortune. It's about as wide as the stick fortress. The fortress would fit perfectly in the bottle, but how am I supposed to get it in there? Watch and learn. Learn that you have a big mouth? The fortress isn't broken, it's just badly made. Don't make excuses. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. What are you doing? Don't worry, I just want to try something. May I go in now? Papa, there's someone here claiming to be a hero. Send him in. If you truly are the hero, then you're a bit boring. You remind me more of a stupid, grumpy peasant. I'm a bird catcher and I no longer care what others think of me. I rescued a fairy and I freed a kingdom. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. All right, all right, go in. But watch your back, I'm right behind you. Ah, Geron, how nice. Come. Sit. Sit. Are you Fahi? Yes. Sit down. Did you find this place all right? Yeah, yeah. I was told that you sell a spell that can permanently change a person's form. A person's? Or an animal's? But everything in its time. Tea? All right. Ah, a man of taste. That's good. Andergast is cold, is it not? It's all right. But about that spell... Of course. You understand that permanent physical transformation is a formidable power. It demands a great deal of courage to request such power. I have my reasons. I know. Giacomo told me as much. You know my price. Giacomo said something about a riddle. Correct. You like riddles, Geron, don't you? Of course I like riddles. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Excellent! 
I knew I could count on you. You'll carry it with you for a while, twist it and turn it in your mind, and perhaps even despair briefly. But when you finally solve it, the reward will be much sweeter. Where did you get this riddle anyway? For more than three moons, my daughter and I have both had the same dream every night. It's even more wondrous that this dream tells a true story, a memory from a time 450 years ago when our world faced its greatest battle. I will now tell you the beginning of the dream. You don't need to know more. And then the riddle. If you can solve it, you'll receive the power to restore your beloved. And if not? Garon, you are the hero of Andergast. Of course you'll solve it. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Good. The dream begins, as I said, 450 years ago, in an ancient vault far beneath my home city of Fazar. The powers of darkness threaten the land, and the great and decisive battle is imminent. When one night, a group of heroes enters the tomb of an ancient mogul mage. Prepare yourselves. I shall open the burial chamber now. Are we all here? All here, for crying out loud. It could have been worse. Sure, we could have lost the mute Varkina too, or the dainty princess who can't fight. <sighs> Calm yourself, Shabib. You're not the only one whose nerves are frayed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did the princess have to see a little blood? Did it break her tender heart? Yes, crack. Now you'll have to endure me without one. Princess Zadja, Alric, we must stick together. The legendary mask of Malachar lies within this burial chamber. If we succeed in bringing it to the Holy Army in the Rashtulian Wall, the battle against the demons will be mere child's play. If we succeed, and these walls don't swallow us up first. I'm working as fast as I can. Uh, I can't find the lock. Give me a moment. It has to be here somewhere. Why did the Furkina people cast you out? None of your business. True. Your past is your problem alone. All that counts is that you lead us safely through the mountains to the army. I just want my money, and soon. What did you call me before? Shabib, that's Tula Media for little boy. Without me, you'd be long dead. Please, no quarrels. She started it. You better stay away from me. Gladly. Mage. Princess. 
What do we do next? We force our way into the burial chamber of the Mughal and steal the Mask of Malachar. Then we take it over the peaks of the Rashtulian Wall to the Holy Army before they march into battle. And there we triumph, or perish miserably. The future of this world is in our hands. How deep are we? Only the gods know. Fazar was built up layer by layer on the ruins of older dynasties. Beneath that lay vaults as ancient as the land itself. This burial chamber, for example, was erected 2,000 years ago by the last living Mughal mage, Malakar. It is said he was a grand master of elemental and transformation magic. He could bend ore and earth to his will with the snap of his fingers. These halls were his greatest and last piece of work. Are you sure that the mask waits behind these walls? Yes, quite sure. No one knows where the Mughal Malakar obtained the mask, or if he even created it himself. But he was so obsessed with it and its power that he ultimately took it with him to his grave. It's also said that he never succeeded in awakening its true power while he lived. What does it do? They say that the wearer of the mask can turn any lost battle Indeed, any defeat, and any loss at all, into an enduring victory. How could it come to this? An invasion of evil in our age? There are always dark times, Princess. But what exactly brought them about no longer matters. The only important thing is that we're prepared to fight. The greatest heroes of our age have gathered to fight the decisive battle in the Gorian Desert. And to go down in history forever. If we win. Why is it called the Holy Army? The Holy Army is an army of clerics. Only with the holy might of the gods, so it is believed, can we withstand the attacking hordes of demons. You said the army is advancing over the Rashtulian Mountains. Why such a difficult route? Most of the passes are guarded by the legions of evil. In addition, there's a magical place across the peaks of the Rashtulian Wall where they hope to forge a final, crucial alliance. We'll join the army there. Aren't you starting to get tired of prattling? He's right. We have to continue. Do you have no more questions? What's the problem? The lock is hidden. I can't find it. Some sort of secret mechanism. Perhaps an objectum disparatic. Whatever it may be, you have to open it. Why exactly did you choose us as companions? Who are you talking about in particular? Can that mercenary over there do anything other than hit things and yell? Pfft. That's more than you can do, Poppet. Alric keeps the monsters at bay. He's a good man. Will Rachvan really accompany us to the end? Yes. As soon as we're finished here, he'll lead us through the Rashtulian Wall to the Holy Army. He grew up in those mountains. He knows the way better than any other. You do know the Farkina's an outcast, don't you? Even his own people fear him. We have no other choice. We need him. How did a mage like you come to lead a group such as this? I wanted to join the army in Punin when a nobleman from Fazar told me about the mask. The rest was a question of money and determination. What was Harun's role? He was your personal bodyguard. He was supposed to protect you. Which he did. Right up until the end. I am sorry about him. He knew the risks. The important thing is that you're still alive. Did you specifically look for a princess? No. I sent for a Ptolemyde scholar. But those are hard to find in these bloody days. Only a few are able to defend themselves and not fall victim to the marauding bands currently battling for dominance in Fazar. The streets of Fazar have always been a screaming nightmare. And thus, it's an even greater miracle that you survived there for so long. You're the outcast heiress of a toppled ruler. I would not have bet my ducats on you. Enough of that. Now to get the key into the lock, and then the door will be open. Where do you see a lock? The door is covered in filth. What does a princess know about filth? Enough to know that it can be washed off. That's good news for you, isn't it? What are you trying to say? Tss. Silence, please! I need quiet.
Do you have a death wish? You saw what kind of creatures are running around out there. If this is what the princesses in this country are like, I would hate to see the kings. Don't worry, you won't. The last caliph of Fazar was skinned alive five moons ago. Was he a tyrant? Yes, like every ruler in this city. Besides... What? Did you see the tattoo on her arm? I believe it's the mark of Malachar. She's a direct descendant. We brought the great, 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 great granddaughter of an accursed mogul mage monster into his burial chamber. Are you out of your mind? She's a good person, trust me, and will soon need her. The image of the mogul mage who ruled thousands of years ago and now lies buried here. He looks like a gigantic dwarf. He's so big, but we noticed him too late. I can't believe how stupid we were. Skewered by his own torch. What an unworthy death. It's hanging just out of reach. Harun's dagger is now my dagger. Harun had my father's eyes. Now I know why. Harun loved horses more than they loved him. Horses and women. Somehow I liked him anyway. A roll of bandages. Stand aside. Under no circumstances should you touch the door. Fine, then you'll have to do it. What do you think you're doing? There is no hidden mechanism. The door is just filthy. Brush it off and you'll find your lock. Hmm? Step back. The six legs open the six locks. By all twelve gods! This is going so well. Relax. I know you just want to help, but I can manage. We'll have to glue it. It looks like blood. I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. Now the blade is sticky. Here, glue the leg with this. It's ready. Do you see the glowing inscription, Ulrich? 
ancient Tula media is a dead language spoken only by a very few, by even fewer, since the spiritual leaders of this city were executed together with their caliph. One must be educated to read this script. Educated, like a child from a noble family. Educated, like the last princess of Fazar. That's the reason we brought you. Now, tell me, what's the answer to the riddle on the chamber? The gods be with me. What? What do you read? I can't tell you. It would change too much. This is why we brought her? I don't understand. Princess? Princess, where are you? By the twelve, it's dark. I'm over here. Ah! Ow! Watch out for the beetle key when you leave. It's lying on the ground along with the door. If it breaks, we'll be locked in here. What's that smell? Alric! Don't come in! There's gas in the air! Shine the torch carefully through the door, but stay outside, and no magic! Astral energy could trigger a trap. Be careful where you set foot, princess. Difficult without light. If you know a way to make light without fire or magic, then tell me. You once said that the mask doesn't look like a mask. Yes. It has the form of two tentacles with children's hands. Really? Fine. Then this is really just a dirty silver platter. It's empty. Ow! I cut my hand. The hook is now covered in my blood. It's covered with cobwebs and dust. That should be enough. By the... Is that it? Yes. Yes, that's it. The Mask of Malachar. With that, we will win the battle against the demons once and for all. Ayal! A guardian! Guard the door! If the beetle key is damaged, we'll be locked in here! <sighs> Come on then. Yella. Kill me. My life isn't worth much anyway. Weakling. Of course there's no gas in the air here. Otherwise the fire in his eyes would have blown up the Guardian's head a long time ago. I can see his outline in the dark. He's no longer moving. He's buried beneath the Guardian. I might be able to free him with magic, but not with my bare hands. It's so quiet. I can hear my own heart beating. For now. Huh? What's that? Blood? Smoke? The staff? What does that mean? The bandage is now soaked with blood.
Ah, oh, welcome, Sha. <gasps> what was that? Who are you? What are you doing in my head? Hello? You must touch me if you want to hear me, Sharizad. Are you a demon? To be honest, Sharizad, I have no idea. I can't remember. All at once, I was here, in the dark, chained fast, countless centuries ago. You're lying. Not at all. I've seen the rise and fall of every mote of dust in this chamber. It's only my own story that I don't know. Why do I hear you in my head? That comes from your blood, which you sacrificed to me. I've made a pact with a demon? Uh, forgive me. I should have warned you beforehand. Open that door. You can do that, can't you? I'm afraid not. No. Then what can you do? I can light the braziers and extinguish them, and I can give orders to the Guardians. Awaken the Guardians and order them to tear down the gate. But then you'll run away and leave me behind. Many millennia will pass before another princess stumbles into the cave. You know who I am? Yes. I heard your talk outside the burial chamber. What would you say to another pact? I'll help you get out of the burial chamber. And you'll take me with you. Princess and court magician, mistress and servant. Together we'll conquer the world. Deal. What? Really? Who would be stupid enough to free a frightening creature like me so carelessly? I take what I can get. You frighten me. Light the torches. Let us do that together, Sharizad. Turn your bright eyes upon the darkness. And concentrate. As long as you're touching me, you can speak to me. But you can also cast my spell. Behold the glories of my master's final resting place. By my ancestors. You're beautiful. So we have an agreement? Yes, 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 we do. Good. You're stuck. I have been hanging here for a very long time, after all. You'll need to loosen the bracket and pull me toward the sky with a strong jerk. Oh, you remember the sky? The sky, freedom, the sparks and sounds of language. Some things one never forgets. The Guardian's limbs have mercilessly crushed him. No, this is too heavy. I won't get his body free by hand. At one end, the magic staff. At the other, a heavy metal ball. 